Hey guys, welcome back to Be Mere Light. I am back with another word, you guys, and the Lord is speaking. He's moving. He's sovereign. He's faithful. Amen. So I want to pray and then get right into this word. Father God, we just thank you for today. We thank you for your power, your love, your sound mind. And I pray, Father God, that as I decrease, you increase and that you speak through my lips like clay and that you reveal your word, your sovereignty, your confirm yourself to your children right now in this hour. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Okay, so one thing the Lord has been sharing with me, more so like now, but this has just been something I've taken into, you know, it, I've been mindful about it, but God is sharing about our enemies, right? We know we have enemies. He says, sets a table in the presence of our enemies. But one thing God wants us to understand is to bless our enemies, bless those that mock us, bless those that persecute us, bless those who throw dirt on our names for they're not coming against us, but coming against the Lord. And God also tells us to um, let him take vengeance. Vengeance is the Lord and he will repay. We don't have to act out. We don't have to respond in ways that will diminish our character. We don't have to take um, circumstances into our hands, whatever that looks like in your life. Because God's fighting for you. Because God loves you. In Romans 8, 28, God says that he works all things out for the good of those who love the Lord and that are called according to their purpose in life. His purpose for their lives. God's with you. God will never leave you. God will never forsake you. So I will say this. When you're being raised up in ministry, when you are, your ministry, I'm telling you, I love to share this because it's the truth. Your ministry and it's what you're doing in this season. What has God entrusted to you in this very hour, in this season? Because that's your ministry. Whether that's being a mom, maybe you're a single parent, maybe um, your ministry is being married, maybe your ministry is adoption, maybe your ministry is being a friend, whatever that looks like. Your ministry, you could be a pastor, you could be a teacher, you could be a student, right? We're all students before we're teachers. But I feel the Holy Spirit so tangibly, you guys, because God wants us to bless our enemies that we will be blessed. He says, spare them for they, that there's a scripture that I'm thinking of is that they will, they'll be, I'm paraphrasing here. They'll be spared of hot coals on their head as we bless our enemies, you know? And so, and I'll leave that scripture down below for you guys. Cause I was just reading it today and that's the one he brought to my spirit, but when you work in due diligence, when you seek the Lord with a whole heart and you truly want to obey God and submit to God and walk in his righteousness and holiness, no matter what you're going through, no matter what people are saying about you, God's going to, he's going to set you on a hill for all to see a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. You are the light of the world, the salt of the earth. Um, one thing we can attach ourselves to today is the fruits of the Holy Spirit, right? It's not easy dealing with opposition. Sometimes it's not easy dealing with people, if I'm being honest. But God gives us the manual script. God gives us the blueprint, the foundation. He lays it out for us. And one thing that I've been doing is having intentional prayers. I've been changing up my prayers. And I've been saying, okay, God, I don't like this situation that I'm in. I don't, I don't have to like it. But teach me through it. Teach me what I need to know. Do I need to love more? Do I need to show compassion? Do I need to be kind? Do I need to listen? Do I need to, we have to walk in the fruitfulness, the faithfulness of God. Amen. God is a fruitful father. He provides, right? And so as we're seeking the Lord and we're walking in his righteousness and holiness, we're listening to his words, we're walking in the path that he has us on, wherever he sends us off to. And you have enemies, Yes, you're doing something right. I will say that. You are you are walking by following the Lord. So when people come against you, they're not coming against you. They're coming against God inside of you. God shines so brightly, you guys. He's beautiful. He's pure. He's right. He's just. He's fair. And at times, you know, I've had my I had my fair share of enemies. But I still show them love, even if it's either from a distance or guarding my heart by guarding theirs and like not responding in the way that I would want to. God sees that those, those seeds and those fruits are not unnoticed. Like we have to, we got to know them by their fruit, but at the same time is how we respond as well. 
We want to respond with the love of Christ. We want to respond with the with the words of Christ. So yes, we have enemies that we need to like far stay away from. God will expose them, but bless them anyways and move on, move forward because you will be a greater blessing. Amen. Um, the other scripture that I'm thinking of is the Lord rewards those who seek him diligently. So when you don't understand a situation or you don't know and you don't, you just don't have the words and you don't know what's going on and maybe you're just seeking God's face in a matter, keep seeking his face for an answer. God says, ask and you shall receive, knock and the door will be open to you. Seek and ye shall find. God will expose, God will remove, God will uproot, God will do what he has to do because he loves you so much. His love for you is deeper than the ocean. God, I, I put put this up on, I believe, um, I think it might be in real life group today, how, you know, God created the universe. He created the stars, the sun, the moon, the skies, the seas, the mountains, the pasture lands. He created everything. But yeah, we are so precious to him. We are so delicate. We are so, we're worthy to the Lord. Amen. You have to know who you are in Christ to stand against the enemy's lies. You have to know who you are in Christ to keep moving and walking forward in the very calling that he placed upon your life before you were even born. God says, walk worthy of your calling. Yes, you will have people that may not like you. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood. It is against rulers, powers, principalities. The enemy sends people, his agents. He sends his agents. Um, but one thing I will say, when you're facing opposition, when you're facing trials of various kinds, you are walking in the Lord's will for your life. He says, you will face trials of many kinds. But take heart, you guys. Be strong and courageous. Like he says in Joshua, be strong and courageous. God fights for you. He's on your side. So if anytime you're dealing with an enemy, a matter that is uncomfortable, a situation, call on God because he will fight you through. He'll get you through. Just like Peter and the disciples in the boat, God, Jesus was sleeping. He was asleep and they were scared. They're like, what are we going to do? We're going to drown. We're going we're gonna to die out here. And God's like, hello, I'm on this boat. <laughs> God is faithful, you guys. So I pray that this word encourages those that it needs to hear, who need to hear it, and those that it needs to encourage, because this is a very prophetic, powerful word. You know, we all deal with circumstances. We all deal with with um, all kinds of things. So just know we all go through opposition. But if God is removing you from certain people, certain circumstances, he's closing doors, do not reopen those doors. Keep walking because he's opening new doors in your life. And even the people that maybe mocked you, right? Those people that went against you, they're going to see the glory of God upon your life. God chose you. God calls you by his name and he loves you. He created you fearfully and wonderfully made in his image. That's, that's a lot to say and understand and know who God is in your life. So know who you are in Christ today so you can stand against the lies of the enemy, bind him up, send him back where he needs to go. His time is short and keep walking in the calling God plays over your life because he loves you. I love y'all so much and I'll talk to you guys soon. God bless.